What's this? Can you call it? She's going to the room. So she'll, she'll let me do an Ibu Knibu. Like I, li I light her pubes on fire. Can we 69? Yeah. I could take a dump on her chest. Yeah. Hey, yo, don't talk to that guy. He was trying to lick my balls. Yo, what's good, guys? Papa Douglas back, and I'm on this channel again. I know I've said that before, but this time I'm really back, bruh. It's been like a whole year since I uploaded, so I got a brand new trolling video for you guys. And also stick around towards the end because I have an explanation on why I was gone for so long, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I owe you guys this. You know what I'm saying? Chua! Excuse me, sir. Are you trying to bribe this hooker? <laughs> mm. Are you guys serious? Couldn't use the stairs to go up to McDonald's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do you know where I can find any hookers around here or something? I'm trying to get my balls licked, dog. Any ladies interested in a fivesome? A fivesome. <laughs> These girls are trying to have a fivesome with me. They want to have a fivesome. Fucking sluts. I'm gonna be over there. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I wanted to ask a question about these shoes over here. You see, I have a lot of goddamn money and I don't want to pay for this shit. Is there any way we could work this out? What do you mean? So, like, what do you think, bro? Well, you want to know about the price, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 225, man. 225? Psh. Psh. Are you serious right now? You know about fashion? I'd say otherwise. Yo, dog, can I have a sip? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, my bad, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Greg Paul? Are you are you Greg Paul? No. Oh, are you sure? Dad? I think that was my dad. Really? That was my dad, it's bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Go get him. Fuck yeah. You already know. Dad! Papa! So I'm just waiting for these beautiful ladies to be finished so I can take a picture. There's a bottle of fucking piss right here. What the fuck? <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. Light up, close, what are we, 12? What? What are we, 12? Well, I mean... If you're looking at Are you guys kidding me? Yo, what's up, dude? Uh, I have one question. Do you know where I can get my ass wet tonight? You don't you don't know? This is Vegas, baby. Oh. A massage? Hey, hey, hit me up. This guy's trying to touch my balls. Mom? Mom? Yeah, I just got the results back from the doctors. I guess I have anal herpes. Yeah. It's because the girl that licked my asshole, remember where she came from? She was from the Palazzo. So now it's like, I can't even... Huh? You have all these windows open, you come right here. I just have something personal going on right now. Personal, you come to next to me? Nah, man. All this open. I, I got herpes, dog. Yeah, mom. Yeah, it burns when I poop, too. You should just give me that same cream I can wipe on my balls. We'll be all good. So for all my followers and everyone that's made it to the end of this video, 
I fucking love you. This is some real behind the scenes shit. I'm gonna let you guys know why I've been gone for a whole ass year because I can't just pop up out of nowhere and just leave you guys wondering. I'm still alive. I didn't kill myself. So no, I did not quit YouTube and I did not go to jail for any of the OG trolling videos that I used to make. The reason why I had not even been uploading is because we were getting harassed by a bunch of fans, a bunch of haters, and a bunch of fucking douchebags who just found out where we lived at just because we were making videos. About a year ago, goes when shit started getting crazy so we headed to the grocery store one day did our shopping you know what i mean we're all good we're heading back to our house and next thing you know there's a weird ass car just following us all the way back for about like five miles so once we get to our crib we park in the driveway and the car still keeps driving and that was that about a month later is when shit started really popping off it was like two o'clock at night everybody's sleeping i hear a bunch of crazy ass knocks at the front door right so i go to check it out and it's a bunch of people with masks on and bats. So keep in mind at this moment in time, it's only me and my brother awake. And we're yelling at these people, wondering why the fuck, asking them why they're even at our house. So about like a couple minutes later, my mom and my dad walk out down the hallway. And my dad's on his tidy whities and shit. My parents are just freaking the fuck out. And the people outside are pissed off because they can't get inside. So they end up going to all the cars that we have, stomping on all the cars. I still got to damn my Mitsubishi from those little bastards. But basically since they were doing that, they were making such a little ruckus outside that my neighbors came out, called the cops, and they had seen my neighbors calling the cops, so they all scattered away and shit and started running. They all left before the cops even got there. About two weeks later, I go to the gas station with my mom. I'm driving her car and I'm about to fill up her gas. So when we get to the gas station, I give her my credit card so she could go pay inside. And when she goes inside to pay, some dudes come up to my car too. On my, one of my passenger and one of my driver's side. I have my window down. And once the dude came up on the driver's side, he pulled up and I already pulled a gun on my chest. And he's just demanding money. Think, he said, you have a lot of money. Like, that give me some money. But he had seen my mom come up. And he, I guess he knows that that was my mom from the YouTube videos. Because if you watch my videos, you would know. He had said, what's up to her? And it was like, oh, hi, I'm all good. And then just walked away. And my mom realized that I was like, had a weird ass face. She asked me what happened. Told her I got a gun pulled on me. And like, ever since then, everyone has been afraid for like my safety and shit. Just going outside. Like, even I feel kind of sus. Going, opening my door and taking out my trash cans and shit. Like, it's just burnt out. So, I didn't feel like going out and making videos. Because everyone's going to notice me. At Lancaster Boulevard. There's people that notice me everywhere that I go. So I didn't want to risk anything crazy. So we finally just moved out. But long story short, basically we have fans fracturing their face in front of my house. And he ate shit and broke his face. The cops came and the paramedics came and he said that he was just trying to get my attention with a stunt. So I could go outside and say what's up to him. But that was just retarded. A bunch of bullshit was going down the whole year. So we were just stacking up all the dough and we moved out. Me and my brother and my mom, we moved out to Vegas and we live in a two-story house now. I have to walk upstairs and shit. If you made it to the end of this explanation, I fucking love you guys. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment, and tell everybody that Young Dublaw's back, baby. But since I moved to Vegas, there's going to be a lot more skits, vlogs, pranks and everything coming soon i'm gonna start a gaming channel so leave in the comments if you want to join can't be cringe can't be boring i'll catch you next week maybe even before that young dude i was back sorry for such a long outro too i just had to give you guys an explanation on, on why i was gone so don't bitch all right Choo! i don't think i can do this anymore